We came up with this analogy of the pyramid because I think it really captures how people can get themselves entrapped in a belief and a set of actions that over time takes them very far from their original intentions. There are two people standing at the tip of the pyramid and at that point they're very close together, meaning their attitudes about a particular thing are almost identical, just a hair's breadth apart. They have to make a decision. Do I want to blow the whistle on this illegal activity in my office or not? Do I want to stay in this bad marriage or not? Do I want to cheat on this exam or not? Do I want to believe the world is going to end or not? Now, my guess is they're listening to him because they enjoy what he's saying. They're pretty much in agreement with his general philosophy. Once he makes that specific prediction, however, my guess is that he lost some people. They started sliding down the other end of the pyramid, saying, what am I doing listening to this guy? This is crazy. He has no way of knowing when the world is going to come to an end. But those who take that one step off on this side, saying he's an honest man, he's a smart man, maybe he does know something that I don't know. And sure enough, to the person who just looks at the things he's pointing to, it can become pretty convincing. Once a person takes a step in one direction or another, they will justify that choice. They set in action a series of, of self-justifications, which lead to further action, which leads to further self-justification. That's why the more a person invests in time, in effort, in taking a public stance, the more difficult it is to say, oh boy, I was wrong. Then as each person moves down those sides of the pyramid, justifying their belief in camping or their not belief in camping, they move further and further away from each other. Meaning their attitudes, one step at a time, become more and more strengthened in the direction that they're sliding. 